Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about mouses, optical versus trackball. Now, from left to right, you'll see that you'll see the smaller mouses going to the bigger ones. And depending upon the mouse in question, I'll give you my input on how it differs from its counterpart and roughly what time I got the mouse. So in the very beginning, back in 2001, I got this mouse. It was 80 bucks, and it's really expensive now online but it has a really nice feel. As you can see, this trackball mouse has the ball centered towards the middle and up front, which means when your grip is going to be on the mouse, you're going to have a real natural feel. And as you can see, by grabbing the top, it easily keeps a natural motion here on your wrist. So you're able to spin the ball and then stop it where you want. Now, ideally, this is designed for office use, but on gaming, I was great using this mouse. And now it's not so much because it's old and it's kind of broken, so um, it still works, but it just, whenever you squeeze the left mouse trigger, uh, somehow this wheel mouse button will move and then you'll end up switching different weapons. But this is a great mouse. The ergonomics are good. Um, it also has two additional buttons here. It's all reprogrammable. And the next mouse I got to replace this one was this one here in the middle. <coughs> this one features a forward and back. Uh, directional arrow on each side and the left and right and the left and right mouse button but the problem with this one is is that it's offset and doesn't have a natural feel to it so when you're trying to click the buttons here you end up hitting the back button too and because it sticks out so far up here you can't really get a comfortable grip and it's also more narrow here it's wider here for a more comfortable grip but narrow here so you'll be using this primarily for office use to replace this mouse, I actually got this one here. And this is what I first had when I tried the optical mouses. And it has a good feel. But the only problem is it doesn't have pre-programmable buttons. It does have an adjustable DPI on there, but it's all right. This mouse came with my keyboard, and it was a bundle, bundle deal. And it's much smaller, and it's not really designed for people with larger hands. So if you've got a smaller mouse like this, you can use it as a mouse. <coughs> but, <coughs> pardon me, I'm just getting over a cold, so that's the reason why I'm, I'm talking like this. Uh, this mouse is okay on the fly if you need it for something like ba basic office use, not designed for gaming. This one could be used for light gaming. This one here is the one I recently got, and with this mouse, it's by Elecom. It's the Deft series and it's a large mouse for large hands. For right-handed people, it has a forward and a back button. It also has a wheel mouse, an adjustable DPI that you can have in two settings. One setting is twice as fast as the other. You also have a left mouse button over here, and to the right of it, you have a right mouse button here on the top, and that's actually pretty cool. This one, once again, is up centered in the middle towards the front and with the natural motion you can rest it right here so when I'm playing you can spin and then stop it right on the dime so when your character is looking around you get to act as a turret left and right left and right and you could snap right on an object by spinning it and stopping it just like that I was able to do that with this mouse too back when I used to play an old game and I was able to lock right on a person not to be confused with aimbot or any type of hack but I was able to spin around so fast and fire that my character looked like he was firing from the side of his body because the animation couldn't keep up with the speed of my turn. So I do like all these mouses for different purposes, but this by far is a great mouse. Not to mention, if you go to the Elecon website, which is a Japanese website, you can actually download software to where you can remap all these buttons anywhere on the mouse, anywhere you want. Like you could put this as a Z key or an R key or any keyboard on a key and use it for gaming if you want. So it does have its benefits. This mouse is only $34. It's not that expensive. And like all wired mouses, they have a faster input response rate than wireless mouses because you actually have to send out a signal, have it reach the dongle and have it decoded and processed that translates into a certain amount of lag time so wireless mouses will never beat wired mouses when it comes to response thank you for watching my video and have a nice day